we're going to develop a normal distribution for the data we've been analyzing using the mean and standard deviation. So we're going to develop a prob probability mass function that will allow us to develop a probability density graph. So we're going to open up a new worksheet for this so we have enough space to do our work. I'm going to name this as the probability density. And we're going to use the function norm.dist to generate our probability mass functions. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, for various PPEs, we're going to create the probability mass function. And so, so we can create a smooth curve. We're going to start at a PPE of 10 and go in increments of 10. And so obviously this, this is much lower than the actual values we observed, but we're going to go through our most common values and we'll go up to 1500 for our range of per pupil expenditures. So for our probability mass function, we're going to use the norm.dist. We're going to develop this probability mass function for each PPE. So we're going to select A2 here and we'll drag this down uh, for all of our following PPE values. We need the mean and the standard deviation next and these are available on the previous page, the CN PPE data page. So first is the mean. We don't want this value to change as we drag through the Excel file. So we're going to put dollar signs on each side of the V and then we also need the standard deviation and the same thing we don't want the this value to change as we drag through the worksheet so we're going to put dollar signs on each side of the V as well and we're going to tell Excel that we want a probability mass function and so we'll use the term false to finish out our function and this is a very small number we get for our first PPE value of ten dollars and that should make sense because we observed no uh, PPEs at this level. And if you have a data set with a mean and standard deviation that we were given, uh, we wouldn't expect to see this value. So now we have our PPEs and our probability mass functions for each of those. And a lot of times it's very helpful to, to graph what we're seeing. So let's create a graph. We're going to go to insert. And we'll do a scatter plot with just lines and no points. So it'll look smooth. And we're going to select our data. So this is our probability density graph. For our x values, we're going to use PPE. And our y values are the probability mass functions. And now we can see what this looks like. And so again, this assumes a normal distribution. And so this is our, our normal density graph. And this is the probabilities for each of the PPEs. And as we would expect, we see the peak where our mean is. And again, from our earlier data, the mean was $569.19. And then we see our standard deviation, $129.16, affect the shape of this density graph.